the hell are you doing? Just enjoying the great outdoors. Are you burning money to stay warm? Yep. Wouldn't have been cheaper to go buy better gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Welcome back to Waves and Trails. What a world we live in today. Or toilet paper is worth a stack of money and I'm getting personal requests from the president. But I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe and today we're gonna to talk about the Kuyu Attack Pant. Now, I've always been searching for good quality outdoor gear and sometimes you don't get the return on investment or dim diminishing returns when you start to spend extra money on, on higher end gear. But for me, the Kuyu Attack Pant, as you can see, I absolutely love. Now I bought a pair about a year ago for hunting and wore it for five days nonstop out in the mountains and decided these are the pants for me. So got two more pairs. Um, these pants are just fantastic. They feel good. They move with you. They're not baggy and they're extremely, extremely durable. Um, I went through a whole bunch of different pairs of pants throughout the couple of years going through the mountains, whether it be Columbia Outdoor Research found the Kuyu attack pants and just absolutely fell in love and I'll keep buying them at, at, at $140 retail. I love these pants. So we're gonna go over some of the features. So the Kuyu attack pant is made from prime flex polyester. It's brushed on the inside, which kind of almost gives it a little bit of an insulating factor, but it feels really good against the skin. So brushed interior, which kind of makes it run a little hot. Since it does run a little hot for me, when I guess other people, they've incorporated this mesh vent. So this is the open of the vent. This is when it's closed. It's again, open again, give you some more ventilation, allow your legs to breathe. The polyester is coated in a durable water resistant coating. So the water kind of flakes off, beads off, not flakes off, beads off, but it's not waterproof. It's good water resistant coating. I've actually taken these pants out in hikes and dog walks in the rain. My legs don't get wet. So six pockets. The front facing standard pocket in each leg, a zippered cargo pocket, and then the rear, two more zippered pockets, which kind of kind of small, kind of tight. I don't like to drive my wallet in there. I usually just pop the wallet out if I'm going on a, on a hike or up into the mountains because it, it, it is kind of tight and sits kind of high. The internal pockets are mesh in the front and the cargo are mesh too, whereas the back pockets are sewn into the fabric. So belt loops, one and a half inch belt, standardized belt. Uh, you can see on my hiking one, I run this really thin nylon belt so it doesn't chafe my hips with the pack on. Um, on top of that, what I really, really like about these pants is that instead of sewn on button, it's this little nylon strap. So buttons, usually a weak point. So instead of sewing it on, they use this nylon strap, which is triple sewn into the fabric and really gives it some durability. And the button itself is not a hard plastic. It's kind of a hard rubber, so it does bend a little bit, but it's also stiff enough to hold your pants on. These pants, like I said, I spent five days living on, living in, in the mountains, and they look the same as they've been brand new. I've gone hunting with these, bird hunting, I've gone deer hunting with them, I've gone hiking with them, and they look absolutely brand new. Now these, these brown ones, I've actually, I would say comfortably done for about 50 miles. And every day I go out, I do carry a pocket knife, and it's a bench-made knife, metal clip, hard nylon uh, body, and that knife sits in there and there's no wear to the fabric whatsoever. Like, like I said, 50 miles, no wear to the fabric, um, no pilling, no um, breaking the seams. Whereas my second favorite pant, or my summer pant, my outdoor research, I don't know if you can see, all the fabric is starting to pill right where I would keep my pocket knife. I don't know if you can see that. So these are a nice summer pant, but the Kuyu Attack Pant is my main go-to pant. And as you can see, I've bought additional pairs. So we've talked about all the highlights of the pants, all what I liked about the pants. There's gotta be something, right? Yep. I don't like the way they wear in the summertime. So that 90 degree weather with that brushed interior, that makes me run hot. And um, 
it makes me sweat. Now that said, I don't feel like I'm wearing a plastic bag when I wear these pants, but I'll pull out my cell phone and my cell phone will be soaking wet. So I don't, I don't like these for a hot summer day. Once you start getting to those 90 degrees, 95, I would not wear this pant. I will look for something lighter like an Outdoor Research or Columbia, that really thin nylon, because I mean, who wants to cook and get swamp ass basically? They retail for about 140. Kuyu usually has sales. And these pants have been out there for a while. So they've offered seven different colors. Five of them are solid colors. Two of them are camo. And there's additional colors coming out in the summer of 2020, which should be in a couple months. Overall, like I said, stretch, four-way stretch, polyester, comfortable, reinforced knee, durable water-resistant coating. You can't go wrong. You absolutely can't go wrong. They come in about 18 ounces a pair. So depending on the size, I mean, that's give and take a little bit because different sizes obviously have different amount of fabric. I, my only other recommendation is go one size up. This one is a size 30. I like the size 32. That fits a little better, especially if, um, I don't know, you're, you're carrying something on your hip. You like that little extra room. So like I said, I find myself wearing these pants, doing yard work out there hiking, hiking in the snow, hiking in the mountains, um, doing a little bit of gardening. And I will continue to buy these unless I find something better. And I don't think I'm gonna find something better. I mean, for the durability, the weight, the, the way they uh, move with you, I, I don't think you can go wrong. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, click over here to see more, and I'll see you guys next time.